What's up, and welcome to another stream. Wherever you are, I hope it's a beautiful day or night. Ain't got much of a plan today, but we'll be working on this. As always, it's a first person shooter written from scratch in OpenGL and C. Plus. Plus. Now, this is basically a prototype for what I'm rewriting. Let me rephrase that. I wrote this program, but it is written quite poorly and runs quite shit. So what we're doing now is rewriting it in Vulkan, basically. And last stream I fucked up a lot, so hopefully I won't make the same mistakes again. Now I'm pretty keen to get started. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now there's this really annoying thing that comes up when people subscribe. Ah, oh, it just happened then. And I tried to fix it for half an hour, but it didn't get anywhere. It was just... I couldn't figure it out. So that's gonna be still here for this stream. Anyway, let me check my list of things to do. That's not today, is it? Uh... Fuck knows. Um, let me... Ch let me check this description link. I just forgot what I was going to be working on. That's right, split screen. So let's just dive right in. How is everybody? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I'm fucking keen to just start this. So let's start the bomb. We're going to do... This song has me in a haze. Let me just remember how all this shit works. Get my head in the game. Alright. 60 minutes speed run for OpenGL split screen. Let's go. What's up, Displant? Okay, so first thing to do is just restart this program in the new renderer and take a look at where we're at. Does this song play for an hour? No, we're almost done. Let's tidy up, let's close that. And let's put it in OpenGL. And start again. It's been a while since the last stream. I've just been doing some other shit. Bit of work, bit of hanging out. Carlos says check Discord, that's always worth doing. Let me just have a little peek at what he's got for me. Oh, this is nice. Justin from Carlos, the modeler. Mmm, ain't that good. That's the new pistol. What's it called again? The Tokarev. I quite, can't quite pronounce it, but that's... It'll be sick to get that in. Time to rip up the bowl, says she swee. Video drone, welcome. Welcome to the stream. So, 60 minutes. The goal of this specific task right now is to, whoops, is to get split screen working. I did a bit of work off stream. This, okay, it's hard to keep track, but there are three renderers now. There is the old one, which I started off just in the intro, and now there's two more. An OpenGL one and a new Vulcan one. And that's what's going on. Making them have the same shit as the last one. So, pressing V cycles these. Nice. So I have player one rendered into three separate things, depending on the amount of uh, the split screen mode, either full screen, two player or four player. So the current goal is to just get four separate players rendered here, or two in this mode. So I should probably just start doing that, shouldn't I? What's up, everyone? And Carlos, that looks amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, fuck. I cannot wait to have that in. Okay. Let's begin. I So I think... I think I have no idea what, where, where I'm at. Mmm. Render frame. Let's think about this. I guess the first thing I want to do is be able to render that thing into separate pieces, because it's pretty hard-coded right now. Hello. Stay small. Okay, so let's take a look at the render frame function. Render game. 
Uh, at the end of this render pass, this thing happens, which is what puts it into that spot. Mmm, I'm very not ready to begin. Alright. I guess first thing I need to do is have some kind of index. Let's just have a hard-coded one now. Whoops. Whoops. Int player index equals zero. So if players, if that's zero, we're going to get what we see here. This. And if it's one, that we moved over to the left. That's a good plan. I'm just going to stack this up. There's no reason to be smart about this either. It should just be written how it is. I mean, hard-coded. In the most clear to read and think about way possible. So that's good. If it's player, like, so this is if it's player two, zero base index. So let's, uh, hmm. Music name. Hold on. Would it be, would a separate window for the second player be an option? That is a good idea. Maybe, like, it's definitely possible. It's programming, anything's possible. So if the player is one, it will move. Let's get four player working first. Okay, if it's player two, that has to shift over what? Half the screen width, which is the X. So it's probably just that, isn't it? Hot load. Just waiting for the hot load. And of course it didn't work, because nothing ever works. Ah, I didn't set that to one. So basically the plan for today is just to get a lot of shit working, because I'm kind of at like this... I'm so stuck, I'm not really making any progress, so I'm just going to grind everything out. Ah, <laughs> lovely shit! Alright, cool. Let's get that working for... For when it's whoops I was big I was so big sorry well what you missed was this look at that yeah there's no, no muzzle flash yet we'll get that working again today cool so that was that apparently so if it's player two in two player we need to move that down one I haven't even really explained what I'm doing basically what I'm tweaking now is the um, positions that the image gets drawn onto the screen because the whole scene gets rendered into some off-screen targets and then I blit that back into the main frame buffer at the last moment. What's up, Bonk? Yeah, basically, it's calling this function, right? This blit frame buffer, which copies from one texture onto the screen. And these little numbers here are where it ends up. So I'm just figuring out the coordinates of this, these spots. It's not, it's not that complicated, but it is confusing. I'm just uh, drinking some coffee. Okay. So what am I doing right now? I'm making player two go to the right spot. So I just have to shift that down half the width. I mean half the height, that's not hard. Is it? Which has to be Y1. Which means that's probably zero. I mean, wait, zero. This is the destination Y coordinate of the default frame buffer. I f these are confusing because I don't. I think they like they go up or like backwards. They're counterintuitive. Is the point? Give me that AK. Why? Uh oh. What the fuck? I changed it for the wrong one. God damn it! Wait, what just happened? Ugh. I'm confused. Let's just undo all that. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I had it. Now I've got to rethink that again. Can you please reply with my long comments? Look, I ha uh, I just gotta get I just gotta get started. Okay, well at least that's right for fucking player three. But we're not doing that yet. 
Man, I wish I could remember what this would have had just before, but that's fine. It was it. It's just not this. God damn it. That just has to go up. It's, it's what I had before. Let's try that. Oh, this song's a banger. Lovely. So player two is either nowhere. Wait, what's going on? Either here, if it's full screen, there or there. That's correct. All right. I'll just grind this out and then we can like talk or something. If you are player two, which is actually the th index two is the third screen. What would that be? That would be here, but down and that way. So this needs to be uh, zero. Wait, wait, wait. God, this is confusing. Wait, what? What the fuck? That's just the same thing being overwritten. I've already lost my mind. I'm surprised that even works. Anyway. Okay, if it's player two... God. Zero. Don't mind me. Hot load. Yeah, I just realized this is like not going to be much fun. This can't. Where, where, where have I gone? I just realized this isn't the most funnest thing to watch, but it'll be cool. It's it's just it has to happen. So back to it. Okay, what am I doing? Right, oh, I'm gonna switch it to 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 this. Just hot loading the um the the code. That looks right, except something's stretched, isn't it? Why is it stretched? It's in the right spot, but it's stretched. Why? I completely regret picking this task. Oh. I'll get this, just give me a moment. Which way is it stretched? It's crushed in. It's crushed in. But it's the whole image, which is confusing. Let's just systematically work through this. We are player two. It is player two. If you are... I mean, index two. It's splitting to the right spot, so that's correct. It's just sampling the wrong size or something. Why is it stretched? Oh, I hate this. Why do I hate light? Because it's night time. Anyway, it's cool that I have animation working, because I didn't have that working last stream. Okay. I need debug mode open. Ah, because it's on two player for some reason. That's why. That's a huge clue. Okay, so I just gotta stretch that all the way. To the right. Wait, what the fuck? If you're on two player, there's no such thing as player three. I mean, player, yeah. Let me... Okay, that's why this is confusing. If you're on four... If you're on two player, you, you never see that player index. So that can never happen. Hmm. Oh, I think it's upper side. Let's think about this. Right now I'm in two player mode trying to render player three.
In two player, you can never see player three, so that just should fucking return. Or that'll just never happen. To prevent this happening, I just should not allow that. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna return. The playlist is in the description. Cool. That's what I want. It should only draw if you are in... Yeah, you can't draw player 3 in 2 player split screen mode. Of course not. So right now what am I doing? I'm f f this needs to happen. I need to output the index to the screen, or at least to the console. Or I'll lose my fucking marbles. What's the player index? I should have explained that better. The player index is the current player being rendered. Because the same draw loop runs four times if there's four players, I need to pass in some index so it knows where to draw it on screen, which player it is. Yep. I'm not sure why the program closed just then, it just did. Okay. Uh, it's so confusing the player three is index and I can't return up there what an annoying thing to start the stream with it's almost done it's like 30% done easy on the mug my friend it's just coffee or was I smashing it down too loud next to the mic okay we are rendering player 3, which is index 2. And currently as 4 player, which is good. So that has to go to the bottom left. That's what I need to do. Okay, I'm starting to get my head around this. Zero. And where? Down. Uh, shit. Down. One thing at a time. Just waiting for that hot load. Cool, that's right, now I've got to go down. Which is what? It looks like it's just that. And then once this is working, I'm going to render the frame four times. Cool, that's perfect. Now for player... F when it's rendering player four. Which is the same, that just has to shift over. I know I haven't really explained this properly, but I just want to do it and then move on. Play-Doh player, um, open it, like open the .sln file, and then just press F5. Switch it to um, release, or just message me on Discord later and I'll help you figure it out. Cool, that's working. Sick. So, let's just render the scene four times now. It's hard to know, but I mean, it's probably hard for you guys to see, but that does work now. C line, I don't know. That's pretty disgusting, but that's what, how it's going to be for now. What's up, Red Hash? Okay, so. The renderer is this file. Now. God. Okay. 
I wonder what the current game mode is. How would I find that out? It is the multiplayer mode, which by default is what? Local. Fair enough. If we are local, which is this, let's iterate over all the players. Um, let's just run it four times for now. Four. Hmm. Shit, this is fucking confusing. Uh, I got an idea. I'm just gonna write the grossest code for now, and then tidy it up once it once it sort of works. If you're two player, <sighs> what's the other option? None. Cool. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two. Hey, thank you. Focus tips video, please. The bomb, the bomb is a countdown timer because I'm trying to get this done quickly. For no real reason, just because it sort of makes it more fun. Now, it looks like... I should probably also pass in like the... This needs some sort of index, doesn't it? Zero. Uh, I. And I. This number will be used to position the image. Why not use Visual Studio Community? I only use Visual Studio Code. Uh, this is called Win uh, Visual Studio Community. When the game needs to take in some sort of integer, unsigned int player index, and pass that down the the chain. Renderer. Nope. Must be like a local function or something. Yep. Cool. Looks good. What doesn't look good? Um, this shit. Yep, yep, yep. Player index. Okay. I don't know why, but like this new render I've written is so much harder to navigate in my head. It just has it has a lot more fucking layers to it. Shit's all over the place. Basically, this is called, right? This renders the frame, but then depending on the API, either renders it in Vulkan or OpenGL. So I've got to find those renderers and add this index thing. Renderer. Whoops. Uh, okay, let's just get this fucking working. Why do I keep doing that? I'm a bit strung out today because I spent the day doing something for work. Implementing a bounding volume hierarchy. BBH for ray tracing. No, I never went to school. I just sort of fucked around on this at home. Vulcan renderer. Where the fuck are you? Oh, if I do that a fourth time, I'm going to be so furious. <laughs> okay, let's just check that build. I would love to make a tutorial series. I really want to. I have lots of ideas. I feel like how I want to do it. And I love open tutorials. Open shield tutorial tutorials. I learned off them and I'd love to contribute to that um body of work. I'm aware of the bomb. The bomb. David, what's going on? Everything looks good. 
And sorry once again about that giant GIF. So now instead of this hard coding that index, I want to s s extract it from the thing. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have just put it in the render data fucking thing. Oh, I, okay. Close everything. I think after doing all that shit, it makes more sense just to have that index in here. So it can just be, because this is passed everywhere. Otherwise, I'm just throwing this little index around all over the place through as a parameter. I could just put it in here. That's much better. But it doesn't mean changing everything I just changed then, but that's fine. Oh, God. Yeah. The reason I'm struggling on these streams lately, I think, is because there's just so much planning that has to happen now. It's not just fun, hack shit together time, it's like, do it properly. Anyway, no more bitching allowed. Let's just take a look at that function again. I mean, just a look at the flow of this. Renderer, where are you? Okay. Where was all that shit I just did? Okay. But if I do put the index in there, it means that this has to be different. Although I could just change it in here. Yeah, that's such a better way to do it. Player index equals zero is how I'm going to do it. Otherwise, I'm just pulling this... Yeah, otherwise it's just too hard to access that thing. Same with that. Same with that. My apologies for wasting your time. It won't happen again. What's up, Serial? You're only just subscribing now? I've seen you here for months. And I bet when I... when I... play all this shit, it turns out that it was the correct way to do it. It's all good. Programming is an iterative endeavor. You figure shit out as you go. Otherwise you don't get anywhere if you just sit there planning and reading. What? Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, because that number is already in here. Okay, check that builds. Work is going all right. Wait, work is in my job or work is in this? Did you start with 2D or go straight to 3D? For OpenGL and C++ I went straight to 3D, but I did grow up making 2D games in something called Click and Play. Have you ever heard of that? Cool. <laughs> I just can't hit anything without a crosshair. I should definitely get the crosshair back this stream. Okay, so, um, OpenGL renderer, where was that hard-coded player index thing? Here. So instead of that, I will just go out on a whim and hope this works. Data. What? Thank you. What? <laughs> I picked the worst font. I cannot read any of that. I only just caught that, but thank you. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed the streams. Clay Team Fusion, hell yeah. That's, that's it. Sammy Mac likes the no crosshair. Could keep that. Gucci flip flops. Fuck yeah. Fuck it, your bitch in my socks. Alright, so... The problem is that this doesn't have the render data index, so I'll just pass it in to here. Player index. 
I think. Oh, this feels like a wrong way to do it. It'll do for now. Is this... Does this have like a thing up here? Yeah. So whatever calls that can extract it from the render data struct. It's all coming together now. Thank God. This might just work. This might just render the same player four times. Yeah, someone asked if I have CMake or have thought about doing it. I'd love to, but I've just have there's just the list of things just to do is too big. Submit. How do you learn stuff? I don't know. Learning stuff is the real skill you're learning. Like you're, you're learning how to learn, and you just get that by just. Well, everyone, everybody learns their own different way, and you just gotta find what works for you. For me, I started learning quicker when I stopped watching videos. Because if you watch videos, you think you're learning, but you're really just consuming content. And you can't copy and paste code from videos. Well, you can, but you gotta go to the GitHub and it just takes longer. You definitely find written websites. That's what worked for me. Damn it, I'm seeing nothing. I'm seeing nothing at all. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. Ha! Ah. This is like the hardest thing to debug. Bitwise, thank you for being an OG, true um, member of this, this thing. I appreciate it. Colonel Haxa asks how long did the Vulcan stuff take? It took like a week to kind of rewrite. There's like a hive mind renderer that just gathers all the things to be rendered and passes it to these two other like renderers. And that, that took about a week to do, just to get like the basic geometry rendered and the rest is still happening. But I'm, I'm, uh, I'm confused because I don't know how to debug this. Like there's no, there's no way to, like I don't know what's happening. I'm just getting black. And I... Hmm... Fuck. Before doing this project, I did a bit of, um... Uh, I'd done JavaScript, just messing around. And a bit of the... I don't really know, not really. Okay. I wonder... What's happening right now when it's black. Because I, in my mind, I feel like that's two-player, and it should be rendering two-player. What's up, Chen? I just got to figure this out. I got to keep my head in the game. I'm gonna go crazy. Let's at least. Let's at least just print this to the console and just see. see if it's happening four times at least. Then I'll at least know this has been called that many times. Because perhaps I'm just in some weird game mode. Or something. Pot loading. Well, look at that. They're all rendering. Zero, one, two, three, four. But not now. I also need to have the, the game mode, I think. Util split screen mode to screen. Game get split screen mode. That just will say one player, two player, etc. Hive Mind. <laughs> Love that name. Now it looks like it's not even rendering when I'm in four player. None. Correct? Two player, but we're seeing nothing. We're seeing fucking nothing. You know what I think's happening? 
Let's pause. Okay. I'm in two player now, but it's rendering all players. So I think what that means is it's just clearing the fucking... I think player one renders, then player two clears the screen renders, player three clears it. Like, player three and four are clearing the screen. Did you fix the error with the player mode being two player regardless? Uh, I think so. Check your for loops. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. I wonder. Like, if I'm in two player right now, how? why is it rendering four times? Zero, one, two, three. Like, why is that happening? You didn't account for four players. Wait, wait, where? Where? Uh, right now, all I want to do is get when it's in two player, it just renders player one and two. Which. Ah, oh, look at this. This is it. Maybe that's what you're talking about. Or oh, do only I see that? And this is good, look. And my earlier theory that was wrong about the other problem but actually is correct about this is that player one is getting wiped, I think. Because look at this. We're seeing players one and two rendered but nothing here. Which means I must be clearing the default... Clearing, clearing the fucking shit in the start of the geometry pass, I imagine. Geo at renderer. Whew. Geometry pass. Yeah, it clears it. So it should only do that if it's player one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But it's clearing the default frame buffer somewhere. Here. If clear screen. Wait, wrong thing. Somewhere I'm calling Geo Clear on the default frame buffer. Geo Clear. That's not it. That's clearing the, the G buffer. That's clearing... I need to capture a frame because I don't really know what's happening. What's up, cats mods? What's wrong with that remix? That remix is sick. It's like jungle, jungle theme. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Something's getting cleared somewhere. Switch the two player. Wait. Why didn't that work? What is going on? Why is that different to... Um, that was confusing, just an insight, it didn't work at all. Can you render the Vulcan one? Aren't you working on Vulcan? I'm doing both. We, we can see the Vulcan one, it just looks the same. What's up Metal Gear? Thank you, I really appreciate it. Oh, we could do the Vulcan one, but there's just sort of no point. It just looks the same, but has no animation yet. We'll get to it. Just to check my sanity, let's just see this rendering... ...in... ...running out of Visual Studio. Come on, man. Play two players duplicated. See, that works. Why didn't it work in Endsight? Very confusing. Connect, launch, let's see. It's the worst thing when Endsight or Ranger Dog doesn't match your actual, when you just run your program normally. Metal Gear, not much has happened, we just started. Getting split screen working properly. Thank god that works. 
So let's capture a frame and then check where where things get cleared. How? Uh, where should we look? Let's find the multi draw indirect. That's the shadow maps. Well, it looks like player one does correctly get rendered. This is player one's scene being drawn. Okay, shadow maps render for every player. That's that doesn't need to happen. I'm going to quickly hack that in. Render shadow maps. If render data player index doesn't equal zero, return. That will stop it happening for every player. Is that right? If you're not player one, go away. Good. This is like a remix of the San Andreas theme. So ignoring those shadow maps. God, how, how are you supposed to debug something like this? That must be just more shadow maps. Why is this happening? Let's find the blip frame buffer fun uh yeah. What are you what's this even called? Blit frame buffer. Ryan Gosling's twin brother. So player one, like just for now I'm rendering the same, like I'm using the same camera for all of these screens. A GPU memory leak, nah, what's happening is I'm just clearing it somewhere incorrectly. I'm 36. So for some reason that in between here and here it's wiping it. This is draw <laughs> GL event 8000. Now somewhere there's going to be a clear... God, how far away is it? It's actually right here. No, that's not it. God. This could be anywhere. This could be fucking anywhere. Okay, let's think about this. Uh, how how would I debug this? I think what I don't know what this blue thing is. I think I cleared the lighting <laughs> texture to blue before calculating that. I have a feeling that somewhere I'm just clearing the default frame buffer to black. I know I am. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense. Here, right there. So close end site and test this. That was it. I've never used Golang, I just use C. By the way, that um like the engine command from Nightbot is incorrect or sort of outdated. It's not just OpenGL, it's Vulcan now as well. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, holy shit! Cool. So now I just need to ha pass in a different um, view matrix if it's the other player. This is pretty sick. Haven't had four player before. I mean, in, in a very old version. <laughs> I did. Cool. Okay, so let's get 
those play... Are there even four players? One... Yeah, there are. Okay, cool. So... I need to change the view matrix if it's the other players, I guess. Something like that. I feel like I'm writing kind of gross code, like that's sort of disgusting. But... Like the... What's this camera data shit? Get player index. Okay. This now must take in the player index. And it's unsigned, isn't it? Although it doesn't make a difference, but... Ugh. Unsigned. Surely that made an error. Where, where is it? Sick. Now you don't get called here. You get called here with the index. Sorry, I got a bit <laughs> so excited there. But I like, often things go terrible for me, like pretty much all the time on these streams, but I feel like I'm gonna get here, here. Did that even make sense? Someone said gross code that works isn't gross. Nah, gross code is gross code. Because it just makes your job harder later. Do you web dev only? I only do game dev. I have made my own websites here and there, but never done any web dev for work. What's going on? Someone, I think two players are on the same player. Are there two guys here? I'm not really sure what was happening there. Oh, I know what's happening. <laughs> only player one has the correct weapon model. Because I hacked in what's rendered for the scenes render. Oh man, this is... Yeah. Okay, so what's going on here is that the render items, that's what's rendered on scene in the scene, it's just rendering player one's weapon and the other three characters. Which means you should be able to see the floating gun in front of the, in front of the other players if I can find one. See, there it is. Look, look on player two screen. <laughs> Okay, so that that's that can't be done like this, which means this also needs the player index, I suppose. Um, what's up, Paul? Never mind. Doctor Hee Hee, I'm sorry you had a shit day, man. Hopefully it improves. Okay, so... Mm, just got a message from my boss. Unfortunately, it's a bad time <laughs> for him. But I'll get back to him as soon as it's done. If he's listening, I'm sorry, I'll talk to you in a moment. Okay, what am I doing? I have to make this depend on some shit. Mm, so... Oh, Discord needs to just go away. Uh... I suppose this isn't that ugly. Okay. So when you're in here, you will use this to decide what to render. The player's weapon. Whoops. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome to the gang. Bro likes moaning while coding. Apparently I do. Was I moaning? I'm so sorry. What's up, Michael Cohen? Now we can't just render every character model. 
we have to skip it if it equals i. If the player index equals i, continue. What about if it just doesn't equal i, do this. Now, I think that's right. Can you say you... <laughs> Aditya? Is that someone's name? I will not say that. PTSD from Discord pings. Yeah, well, I think I closed the app and it's still going off. Oh yeah, we are in the fucking game now. Oh, I can even control these players. That is fucking sick. Where's the shotgun? I cannot believe this just works. <laughs> oh, hello! What's going on in here? Well, that's fucking done. Ten minutes to spare. I can't pronounce that, but thank you. Well, I can't just be printing this to the console, can I? Split. Uh, no. Did you make that bomb time yourself? Yeah. I'll show you. It's this. It's this, like, basically empty HTML document. And then there's some JavaScript that just is here. And you just change these, and then based on these settings, it does a bunch of shit, like down here. What's up, TP? So, I think I'm good. I can just have a cigarette for 10 minutes and then make this work in Vulcan, I suppose. We need those muzzle flash. It's quite sad. And the glass is in here, and also there's no bullet holes on the ground, or on the windows, or shells, or the casings. Or blood. Or light globes. Models or blur. A lot of things need doing. Let's get as much as we can done today. I'm just enjoying this. Okay, calm down. Uh, someone asked the most difficult, difficult problem. I don't know. Everything new is hard. Let's think about this. Compute skinning. That I spent like two big long streams trying to get that working and still haven't figured it out. Skeletal animation the first time is very difficult. Shadows the first time is very difficult. What do we need to make levels and maps for me? You need to wait for me to make a map editor that, that doesn't suck. Silence shotgun. And light switches. How do you afford cigarettes? <laughs> I just buy them. I don't know, it's like, how do you afford food? You just allocate money weekly for whatever you need to spend it on. Why don't you wear stockings? That's a great question. Um, let me just check the next task. Why don't I have notes anywhere? That's like an old write-up. Found it. Okay, debug lines. A nice little quick one. 15 minutes. Yeah, you're right. Cigarettes are expensive. Um, I don't know. I just eat less food or eat shit of food. Let's keep the ball rolling. I feel like I've got a bit of momentum at the moment. So I'll just fix this bomb timer. 15 minutes. I know I'm big, but this is private. Refresh. Just chill for one more moment. Do I have a girlfriend? Roll your cigs. Yeah, it's not much cheaper. Shit. 
Shout out to Ruby if she's in this in this chat. Now this song, I love it. And I know there's a metronome ticking the whole way through it. That's just part of the beat. Console, maybe, I don't know. Nah. Yeah, at the end. Alright. Where's my bomb? Okay, 15 minutes. Let's get debug lines in. What are they? You'll see. Let's go. Small. Okay, let's go to the Geo Renderer. I mean, the Vulcan Renderer. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, uh, engine, engine. So, yeah, so as I was saying, this renderer can be started in one of two APIs, Vulkan or OpenGL. And the, open, and the Vulkan one is a lot less developed. It just has lighting, but it has ray trace shadows. It's kind of cool. So this is the Vulkan renderer. No guns yet, but these shadows are ray traced. Look at the definition. Where is it? Anyway, so the point... These lines, OpenGL doesn't have these. These are the um, collision shapes, and th these are the axis aligned bounding boxes. So I'm gonna get this working in OpenGL. I just wasted a whole minute. So let's go. Go back to OpenGL. It shouldn't take long because the data structures are there. I just have to create some sort of buffer and a shader or something. Uh, OpenGL renderer. Wait, let's have a look at the Vulcan one first to see when it happens. Whoops. Render game, debug pass, that's it. So I need one of those. I'll save a bit of typing by stealing this. Put it in here. I mean in here. Just about there. Now, when does that get cold? It gets cold after the lighting pass. Right about here. D uh oh. Debug pass render data. Now I need a function. Debug pass. I wanted to steal that. Now where where have I got it here? After user interface. Okay, so what will I do? I will refer to this. This just sets up a bunch of shit that doesn't even need to be done in OpenGL. Then it renders the quad... What? Wrong pass. It... It checks the line mesh's vertex count. If it exists, it just draws it. Okay. What is the line mesh though? Ah, it's here. Okay, cool. Detached mesh. Don't ask me what that is. I'll tell you what it is. A detached mesh, all my other mesh, like everything you see, like the guns, the couch, all the vertices are in a single vertex buffer. And a detached mesh has its own little vertex buffer. I wrote this off stream. Okay, that's the line mesh. What does this have? Oh, it's got everything I need. This is the vertex buffer. Now I need to draw that with a shader that doesn't exist yet. Sorry about the Discord pings. Deep, what's the code in Vulcan? It's called the debug shader. Let's make that. I'm gonna steal, what will I steal? Let's look at the Vulcan one. It, wait, it doesn't do much. Wait, wait, what? I'm just gonna rewrite this from scratch, I think. Not not confuse myself, because 
Falcon and Open Jail are different. Debug. Everybody happy? How to do header comments like these? Um, there's a website, there's many websites that generate ASCII text for you. GL renderer debug about here, I think. Yep. Okay, what's these shaders doing inside them? There's a lot of shit here I don't need. Model matrix doesn't exist. Cool, that doesn't... This is just an empty shader, isn't it? Ah, that's the color. I'm storing the color in the normals of these this vertex buffer. Color equals a normal. Whoops. Uh hmm. Delete. I know I'm just sort of on my own, my own world right now, but I have to just get this done. It's not worth talking about. All I'm doing is rendering, rendering some lines. It's cross fingers, baby. Looks good to me. Whoops. It's cross fingers, baby. The setup. Gladly. Um, here is my legs. The music comes out of this speaker. Here are some shirts I wear to fancy occasions. Some plants and shit. The deer. Um, my clothes are stacked in some milk crates over there. That's the door to the hallway that you guys will never see. Piano over there. And a bed. And we're back around. So let's figure out what's happening. So, I have made the sh- my small? Yes. Uh, how much time? Seven minutes. Okay, the shader is created. It is lacking the matrices it needs. Where can I pull them from? I mean, like, steal the code from? Not there. Here. Where's this debug pass? Um, is that really what I want? I don't think so. I need to do this into the pres... Oh, uh, what? No. That's good. I think everything's fine. I just need to draw this somehow. How though? What's up, Liam? Let's just guess. I can't guess. I what? What am I doing? I need to draw. Just draw this. How do you draw a <laughs> vertex buffer? Draw elements. I think. No GL triangles. Count lines mesh dot uh, vert index count. Type. I don't even know the syntax for this. I was just copy and paste it, but I don't have any code in this entire engine anymore that works this way. I'm gonna have to go to learn open GL. Because if you're new here, you'll see that I don't actually know anything off by heart. I just copy and paste code that I've written. But I have nothing to steal from here. Mm, mesh? 
Moro. Vieš. Maybe that's all it's needed. Imagine if that works. And then, and on. Five minutes, just freaked me out a little bit. Sprite says they're into this vibe but wishes I take care of myself. I do. I've been sleeping well and eating well. And we have no lines. That's a bummer. Perhaps they're never updated. Perhaps the vertex buff is never updated. How would I check that? <sighs> Fuck. Okay, when... Hmm... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm smacking enter so hard. It's just, that's just how it goes. Just trying to find. Is this called somewhere? Uh, uh This is what I want, and that does it for Vulcan. Like this is sending the vertices to the GPU. I can see that working for Vulcan. I bet the GO1 is empty. Renderer. What's up? Are those L's? Lee, Stefan? Well, that's valid. That looks good. So what's the fucking problem? All right, time to capture a frame. Bro, play some Lucky. I don't know who that is. Bro, let it die, please. The time have come. Hmm, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm comfy on this couch. Fuck yeah, I love this couch. Well, actually, this couch is starting to become uncomfortable. I've sat on it so long that, like, it's... It's just a bit broken. I think I need a new one. Uh, B? Um, Prince... Uh, F11. I'm not going to make this in two minutes. God damn it. But we know it's the only geo draw elements call in the entire frame. Elements. Zero. Zero indices. Well, that's a huge clue. I would say I'm never storing the index value. Huh, I never am. I never am. That's sort of weird. Am I doing that in the Vulcan one though? There's no time, let's just trust my fucking gut here. I was getting a zero count of index, I mean a zero index count because that was returning zero because I never stored this what I pass in when I create the thing. Still terminate. <laughs> How long has it been since you used the table? I don't know. It could be like 10 years. Because I have a laptop. Or this. And I only got a desktop like three years ago and before that I just had laptops. I don't think... Maybe school. So that's like 15 years. What's up, Lou? Oh, look, we got something. Why is this so... What's wrong? Why are we getting boxes? What's happening? Am I rendering with triangles instead of lines? I bet I am. Go, go, go. Am I small? There's no time. Render up. Render up. Lines, quickly type that thing. I don't know how much time is left, but I feel not much. 30 seconds. 
I don't even know if this is it. It could be. Am I gonna clutch this? This music is just too epic. I can't look. 20 seconds. Hurry up! Oh, no! Nah. It's wrong. It's wrong. Everything's wrong. I, I'm stuck in the hallway. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you more than I ever have. Oh, it's just... I know what it was. <laughs> the view... Uh, go away. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, what's happening? The viewport. I didn't resize the viewport, so everything was just rendered double too big. That was so close. I was so hyped. I thought I, I thought I had that. So what was wrong there was that the viewport was too big. I think, because they seem correct, right? They're just off a bit, or they're upside down. I have no idea. I... <laughs> What's going on? Don't listen to me. Um... I need, I need a break. Just a quick, quick break. Damn it. Do you know the song Tick Tick Boom? I don't think so. Okay. Go back. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> okay. Now, turning seems correct. The time is 11.13. I'm just thinking, sorry, I have to think in, in, pri in private right here. Okay, it looks like that's just too large. Wait, the... Uh, hmm. I think it's correct. It's just twice as big for some reason. Because I do render the scene twice as big at some point. So I think the viewports just double the size for some reason. Oh, it is. It totally is. What's the render target right now? At this point in time. It's just got whatever... Okay. Where's render game? The lighting pass just ran, which is too big. I was missing this little part here. Maybe. I want to run it into the present buffer, which is like this texture where the final stuff happens. Maybe. So... Is it just this? Is it just these three lines? Oh, yeah, true. YouTube hates the lines, sorry. You wouldn't have even seen really what was happening, would you? Just blurry mess. Sorry. We're almost done with lines. That was it. I know this looks like shit to you, but trust me, they're all here. <laughs> I feel like he dropped... What did he drop? Oh, that's the access line bounding box with the Glock. Cool. Well, that worked. I'll get rid of those lines. Do I work from home? Yeah. I'm gonna go take a piss outside. For some reason, I can't- I just can't hold it in. I'm just gonna give something cool to look at. Whoops.
Hey, <laughs> you're blocking the way. I don't really know what to do, just give you guys that. Thanks, Brad. I'll be back in like two seconds. Player 3 could be somewhere cooler. No one's got the AK. Where can he be? I don't know. There? Alright. Back in a moment! Player three, huh? Okay, what next? <laughs> Sorry, whenever I click it does that. Oh wait, I'm wrong size. Is the renderer completely in Vulcan, or is there still part of an OpenGL? Everything you just saw there was rendered in OpenGL. So what I'm going to do now is switch to the Vulcan renderer and get skilly tool animation working. Because currently there's no guns or players yet in the Vulcan renderer. So this has the potential just to ruin my... take... rob me of all my steam. But it must happen. I thought that couch was in the game. <laughs> cool, so we'll just close all those things and start again. I mean, open some things. Let's do this on the clock. Um, ray tracing works and it doesn't. The shadows are ray traced. Where's the bomb? Bomb, 100 minutes. Bring it on. What would happen if I rode a hundred here? I'm gonna sneak in some extra time and see what happens to the bomb. Do you need some help setting up donation notifs? I need a lot of help doing a lot of things. What do you mean exactly? Uh, bomb... What's, go what's going on right now? Refresh the thing... Okay. Thank you, Matt. Chris? Once that goes away, I will say what's happening. Alright, 100 minutes, speedrun, Skaleel animation, Vulcan renderer, let's go. Okay. Oh, I missed the bomb. Huh. Yeah, I thought that would happen. The numbers just don't line up. Well, just don't look at the clock for the next two minutes. Oh, I am off and I do. I really do. I couldn't figure that out. But, um, we can talk about this later. I just want to make it so that stupid gift doesn't play when people subscribe. Goodbye. This thing, that thing, needs to go. That's fine. Whoops, whoops, whoops. V for Vulcan. Start again. Uh, what's up, most sad agent? So, 
Oh man, this, I don't know what, this is gonna be hard. Time is fact, yeah I know. I was just testing what would happen if I set forbidden numbers and that's exactly... What's this thing? Okay. So right now we're in the Vulcan Renderer. And there's no weapons or guns because there's no shaders to draw them, there's just that whole thing's missing. So I have to... Just, I guess... Take a look at some stuff. Let's compare to the G open gel renderer. Render game. In the geometry pass, first it draws the regular mesh, then the skin mesh. So I need to at least do this. Which means binding a shader that can do that. So I need a shader that does that. Vulcan shaders open. It will be like the G-Buffer shader, but it'll just be slightly different. I suppose. Um, skinned? Is that the, what the Geo-1's called? Hmm. Sorry, I missed the sub there. What's up, Neverland? Cool. Let's get them in the project. Let's open them. And let's just try and render something with that. Now they need to be loaded at startup. In the Vulcan renderer. Here. Skinned. Now skin simply means to get your... What's up Germany citizen? Skinning means to get from T-Pose to some other kind of animation. That's all it means. Create shaders, probably something like this. This just loads them from the disk and stores them in this object. Cool. Now I need to create a pipeline. Something unique to Vulcan. Create pipelines. It's actually just the same as this this one, with one difference. Hello, Vitaly. G buffer. Wait, what? Ah, that needs to be a pipeline for this. I'll be a bit slow here because Vulcan's quite new to me still. That's right, I don't have to do this. Yeah, but use this shader. That seems good. Do I have a full-time job? No, I just... I do have a graphics programming job that I do a few days a week. I try and do a few days, sometimes I don't get any done, but I try and do two days a week. DirectX 11 is good. Wait, everyone hates it. Well, yeah, I hate DirectX. It's so ugly. The code just looks like, yeah, look, it's ugly code, but it's the same as OpenGL. You're doing the same shit. I too have to do DirectX at work. Anyway, what am I doing? I am rendering skinned models, or at least tiptoeing slowly towards that thing happening. NM10. Where am I from? Uh, Tasmania, Australia. A little island beneath a bigger island. Hmm. Okay, keep your head in the game, bro. I feel like it'd be just about here. This is all correct. Like, I mean, this applies to both skinned and non-skinned mesh. It is only from this point forward that it must be different. So how about a comment? Um, non-skinned mesh. 
What about... That's good enough. And then we'll do this here. Skinned mesh. Unskinned mesh? No, non-skinned mesh. What about mesh? That's confusing. Do you reside... Wait, where do you reside? No, I'm not in Tokyo. I live in Tasmania. It's actually a beautiful place. Yeah, Mr. Student Loan is correct. About that. And probably other things too. What's up, miss? Where's all the pipeline stuff? Here. Huh. Well, that ac this actually goes here. And this goes here. And that doesn't need to be redone. And this is going to be called Skin Vertex Buffer. And that will be used in the rendering. I suppose that can just go outside the loop for consistency. Am I missing some kind of bracket brace? Um, where's that pipeline shit here? Pipelines. Yeah. What's this? It's trying to tell me that I'm missing a brace or something, but I'm definitely not. I probably am. Is it just lying? It worked, that wasn't a real error. Well, what's this? You're lying to me. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. heaps of shit's wrong. I'm missing... God. Sorry, I'm not really telling you what's happening. But the problem is that there are no... I'm missing all the matrices for these items. And that's just the transforms, their position in 3D space. So I'm trying to render the gun and shit, but that stuff doesn't... It's not in the shader yet. Now in OpenGL you can just do it there, but that's not really going to work, I don't think, in the Vulcan. I need to do it like somewhere else. Unless I just end the rendering, there's a fly on my screen. Oh, fuck Vulcan. I could end rendering, like here, and then just upload the data I need, and then re -ren begin rendering again. I don't see a problem in doing that. So I'm, yeah, I just think you can't add, yeah, you can't. Um, I'll just check this works. Because in here is where I will update these matrices, I suppose. So I need a big ass for loop because there's lots of different shit to happen here. For what? What happens here? Something like that. Everything's going good, we have a weird error. But that was their last stream, so we'll forget about it. I don't want to be doing this. I really don't want to be doing this. Render data doesn't exist. Ooh. Equals render data dot this thing.
Yeah, doing the Vulcan stuff, it's harder for me to talk about what's happening because I, I'm only really hanging on by a thread here, mentally. Check that builds. Yeah, Vulcan's more low level. You gotta set up a lot of shit yourself and take care of a lot of things yourself. Like if you even oh I wish I could be I wish I could be chatting with you guys right now. I just have to get this working. Okay. Looks good to me, kind of. So, this struct basically, I mean this vector contains a list of everything, all the meshes that need to be rendered. Or something. Render items. In here are all the things. So this is going to run five times. For the current player weapon and then for, uh, four times. For the player's weapon and then for the other three characters. So just say we're rendering the player weapon, this contains the everything, like the the hands and the glock, for example. So these need to get sent to the shader. I mean to the GPU. This is sorta of ugly. So where do I send them there for just the regular mesh pass? Here. Maybe I can just steal this? Wait for fence. Ugh. Okay. This does not seem to be the most efficient way to do this. We're not doing that. Although we probably should. We're not doing that. And we're not doing that. Current frame. And oh, that's nasty. Yeah, Vulcan is not much fun, is it? Do I just want this? If I get this working, I'll be very surprised. I almost want to just not do this. But we'll see. And even this is wrong, like, so much of this is not working yet. Mr. Student Loan, where are you from? Are you from Tassie? It doesn't matter about his size. What are you guys on about? Roblox, what's up man? Now the game is not multi-threaded. Yeah, it's pretty expensive here. Why can't I... Where's the game? We've crashed. Have we? No, we're still loading. What's happening? We've hit an error. Let me start again. And just watch the screen. Coffee number two. Interesting. We just stay there and nothing happens. That doesn't need to happen. Are we getting stuck on this fence or something? What even really is this? I'm starting to think I can't do it this way. I can't just be uploading the, the matrices to the sh GPU multiple times in the middle of the fr render frame loop. Is it because of this fence shit? What? How did... What? <sighs> Fuck, I might have to do something else because this needs to be redesigned. I see some hectic <laughs> Russian shit. Where is Nightbot? Did Nightbot get hacked? What's up, Zyrus? Yeah, look. I might have to skip the skip out on this one. Because this is I really gotta sit down and think this through, redesign the way the matrix is sent to the shader. 
I'll just see if getting rid of that does it. Perhaps we're just stuck on some fence. A fence is simply just this thing, of, it just stops... I don't really know what a fence is. It, it makes Vulcan pause execution until something happens. Until... Until something can be... Uh-oh. That's a shame, I would love to have an animation working. Oof. Oof. I, I wanted to do reflecty gun stuff. Nightbot! Hey Muffin, can you... Can you ban this person, please? Or just put one time out? Okay. It's definitely the fence thing that's breaking. Yeah, I quit this task, sorry. Let's just try and get something working again. Oh, let maybe close that. Turkey, there is an alternative to skeletal animation. What is that? Hey, man. Yeah, look, I'm just gonna get shit rendering again and then do something else because this is re... I, I don't wanna just write something dumb here. I wanna do it properly and I have to really think and I'm not doing that now. So that's a huge fucking bummer that we won't have animation working for guns. That sucks. What else is on my list of things to do? Ah, oh, where the fuck is Notepad++? Hmm. Okay, we can do split screen in... I don't want to do any Vulcan stuff. Vulcan just sucks. Vulcan sucks. This is just killing my killing my mood trying to do this Vulcan shit. I'll try. I'll try get it working. The split screen thing. We'll do that instead. Am I Indian? Do I look Indian? Just reconfiguring the bomb and then we'll do something else. Because I'm not going to waste time. I, I want to. I want to do good shit this stream. And I can tell that's just going to be nightmare. Okay, starting again, we're doing split screen in Vulcan. Let's go. No, yeah, no hang ups. Because last, last stream, last stream I picked, picked some things and just got stuck. The, the last three hours of last stream were just nothing happening. And I don't want that on the internet. I want to... I want this to be a collection of just like cool stuff happening, not just... Yeah, you know what I mean? So let's try this. Just exactly what we got working there, but in um... In... In Vulcan. <coughs> ate a bit of tobacco. Disgusting. How did my date go? What date? What are you talking about? I didn't go on a date. Was I really talking about that last stream? Uh oh, what's happening here? Is there something more fun to work on that's not this? I could do muzzle flash, but that's 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 old stuff. Let's let's get this working. What's up, John? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is probably, I think, the code I write, the code I wrote at the start of the stream. I want to put that somewhere else. Those like those numbers about where to blit, right? I want that accessible in the Vulcan renderer too. So let's do that first. So, I might actually go back to the GL renderer to get this working first. Let's re-enter the zone. Let's get back to progress mode. Um, where was all that shit happening? 
it was like a GL blip frame buffer, wasn't it? It was this. So I want all this to be accessible from outside the Geo renderer. The Vulcan renderer needs access to these numbers. So perhaps it should be part of the rendered data struct, maybe. Honeybee asks when the game's coming out, just when it's finished, or when I feel like it, when I, yeah, when it's finished. I want to make a demo soon, a multiplayer demo, which would be cool to do and release, and that'll happen when it's ready. The answer is just when it's ready. It's like when you're writing a song, you release it when it's finished. Imagine trying to release a song with a deadline. The lyrics are going to suck. So, what was that? Man. Okay, I want this somewhere that's not in here. Somewhere that can be accessed from the Vulcan render as well. Or do I just put it in the rendered data struct? Probably. Let's take a look at that. I could just have that in here, and I probably should. So let's make that. What is it? It's just these four. Why is there no music right now? There's just like 10 minutes of silence after that track. This will be called um, Blit... Blit Destination... Cowards. Terrible name. And maybe not jail in. What about unsigned in? Yep, cool. Destination blit chords. Blit destination chords. <laughs> sure, why not? Cool. That can be passed down the pipe or whatever it's called. What OS? This is Windows. Yeah, I can't work without music. My brain just goes on pause. Cool, so I'm gonna calculate this in the renderer further up the chain. I might make a function that does that. To keep shit tidy. Um, get that. I hate this name. Okay. I don't know where to put this here. And um Cool, and that can equal somewhere in here. Yeah. This must take in the index of the player, surely. Yep. Where did that go? Here. In case you're wondering what's happening, I need some coordinates to decide to tell the renderer where to draw player one screen, where to draw player two's screen. I got that working at the start of the stream for OpenGL, but I want it accessible to Vulcan 2, and I don't want to have to rewrite this code twice. So I'm doing it further up the chain, and just gonna, yeah. You know what's going on. I almost know what's going on. So, renderer, renderer. Yes... Here. Yeah. 
there's probably a nicer way to organize this stuff, but for now it's just gonna be like this. Cool. What's up, Jocelyn? I know I pronounced like 90% of names incorrectly. For that, I'm sorry. Cougar Town, hello. Okay. So, I'd like to... That... This... Wait, why have I, why have I got that twice? That's definitely wrong. I've done something... I've done something stupid here. Fuck. Have I just been copying and pasting wrong shit everywhere? Highly likely. That's what I meant to do. And that would look nicer on the bottom, wouldn't it? Yeah, 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 yep. Looks good, looks good. Where did you learn how to do multiplayer? I just sort of followed my gut with that one. What do you mean specifically? Like how to render split screen? Or how to detect input from different keyboards and stuff? Jockowin. Jackowin. Hello again. Okay. So, 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 what's happening? I need to f populate this thing in here with the stuff. <coughs> now I've got that code. It's in here. It's exactly this. It's all this. Now, towards dot. That just has to happen everywhere, I think. And if all goes well, it'll just look the same. But the difference will be that I can access this in the Vulkan renderer. Which is the first step of getting this working. Having these fucking dumbass numbers. Something about this code is disgusting to me, but if it works, it works. It's beautiful. So, in the GL renderer, I will not do any of this. Well, I'll keep it there for now. I'll just overwrite these values with the ones from that struct. Equals render data dot that. Do you not have render data in you? God damn it. Well, I could just pass in those. How about that? I don't like it. I'm scared. Because that's going to break this other code. Pass by reference. This song is not the vibe for me today. Yep, yep. Now, let's be courageous and delete this. No, we'll comment it out. No, it's it's ugly. We'll delete it. This this can't go wrong. Now these will just come from render data. Is the plan? D S D dest. What? Ah no, you're coming from here. One, I mean why? One, one, why delete? Please work. What's the date tomorrow? Oh, 420. It's fucking 420 tomorrow. We got errors. 
one error. Not the player index, the destination glit chords. Is what we need. What's up, Zane? A switch case is still validated. Now, I never made a chatbot. I'd love to learn that shit, actually. Must return a value. Ah. Oh. Return chords. Damn. That's not what I want to do, really. Hmm. I think I've just created a bit of a bug. And that bug is, if you are in two-player mode, it will still try and render the third player. I should somehow, somehow prevent that. Switch is faster than if nested ifs. I don't know. I doubt it. And... It still works. Everything works. Great. So the difference is now that these numbers that are choosing where those screens are rendered are now accessible anywhere in the program. This is huge. Well, it's not that big, but it's... It needs to happen. It needed to happen. <coughs> Forgive me. For killing this man in here. Okay, so go to the Vulcan Renderer and use those little numbers. Okay, so let's just go to the geometry. Wow, where would this happen? It probably happens in uh, end rendering. Yep. Blit render target into the swap chain. That's it, isn't it? I think so. So this needs... Let's take a look inside here. Yep, here's this shit, look at that. I just gotta put those numbers in here. I think. So this needs to also take in that thing. Just like the GL renderer. I hope. I hope. Where am I? That fucking comma. It's surely Ford declared. Am I small? No audio for now. Wait, what? What are you guys talking about? What am I doing now? I'm getting four players split screen working in Vulcan. Is the plan. So basically I'm just passing a bunch of data around the place. What's wrong with that? Render data is undefined. Okay. What was that? That was this. And that must be passed in here. Apparently. What? Undefined? Uh oh. Well. This is disgusting, but we'll just pass in an empty one. This is for the loading screen, so it doesn't really matter that that's just dud data because it's not used. Cool, let's just try to build this. Are we in Vulcan? No. Unreal Unicom, hello, welcome. How have you not lost your mind yet? I've lost my mind. I've, this has changed me as a person. Com definitely. Mostly for the worst. Worse. Cool. So, at least we're building. So, back to the Vulcan renderer. Let's sample those numbers. I mean, is that the correct terminology? Probably not. Where are we? End rendering. In this thing here, we must access those numbers. It's right here. I can feel it. Ooh, Z. That looks a bit wrong, doesn't it? It's this. 
Oh, this is so confusing. I'm going to put this in brackets what I had before. I mean, not brackets, but... Yeah, you know what I mean? Just make a little note for when it goes wrong. Let's try that. If all goes to plan, then I can switch to split screen and it will render player one and shit smaller. Not chappin', hello. What's the good question? Why don't you solely focus on Vulcan? Because... I don't really know. I just want to have an open geo renderer as well. Because once I've actually rewritten this all and it's all rendering like the old renderer, I'm still going to prototype new ideas in the geo renderer because it's quicker for me to do it that way. And I also want to just learn to write better open geo code. And by writing this whole Vulkan renderer, it's forcing me to write modern open geo, which I'd never really done before. Like I have bindless textures now in geo. I have multi-draw indirect, a bunch of shit I've never done before. It's like a learning task, but also does serve a practical purpose. How do you get so cozy? The, I get cozy by just playing cozy music, having cozy lights, cozy pants, cozy couch. This kind of thing is sort of cozy. God damn you. God damn you. I wonder why this is happening. I can't help but think that I... Hmm. Okay, let's just simplify this by only rendering one player instead of all four of them. I think. Where the hell does this go down? Shit is out of control now. So it looks like... Okay. Fuck. This calls that, this calls that. Which happens multiple times if there's multiple players. But if it's in Vulcan, I will skip... I'll only do it for player one. Just to get that working first. If renderer... Da -da -da player index equals one. Only do that. Because there's a lot of weird shit happening, and I wanna, I need to simplify the, what I'm seeing. I can hot load that. Because this is... <laughs> anything could be causing this. I think. Let's switch to... Okay, player one is good. I once again need to output to the console what is happening. I will do that where, here, split screen mode to string, game, get, split screen mode, new line. If play index equals two, where's this? What are you talking about, Ivan? Is this a clue for me? What's up, Roman the Roman? Okay, so we're in Vulcan right now. Something's sort of happening. That's cursed. What the fuck? What the fuck? If player index is zero, render the thing. So, why am I rendering player two right now? I mean, why am I rendering in player two right now? It worked for OpenGL, and that's broken. Do you guys know what's wrong? Nah, I'm on my own, aren't I? No, sorry, I was talking about you, don't us for. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Give me some bullets. Okay. Welcome. Two player. Now for some, I'm definitely controlling player one right now. Now why is it down there? I think I know why, because OpenGL has different coordinates to Vulcan maybe. It's quite possible. Which sucks. I have to assume that's what's happening. I think it's what's happening. Vulcan goes backwards. Which means I... That was all for nothing. That was all for fucking nothing. I have to have separate code anyway. God damn it. God damn it. That sucks. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Vulcan has a zero for the Y axis, zeros at the bottom instead of the top. Or the other way around. So let me just think for a moment. I still don't know why four players broken. Yeah, yeah. Shoot, I like my neighbors, yeah. Vulcan buff is a reverse. Exactly. Oh. But why is it wrong? I have to check that the GL one still works, because maybe I broke it somewhere, but I don't. I didn't, but... Second player got wide eyes. <laughs> Does anybody know this song? I fucking love it. It's my favorite Young Thug song. Can't hear it per renderer? What's with the angled keyboard? I just cannot type like this. It's... I don't know, just... It's, I have Tyrannosaurus hands and it just it's easier... We know this works. So why... Why is it bastard for the Vulcan renderer? Let's go back to here and we'll just explicitly say... It has to be this. I'm gonna just hard code what it should be. Times... Two fox. I'm hard coding that and seeing what we get. <laughs> what? Roblox asks, do I type like this for work and like this at home? No, I'm always like this. As if I would just do this for show. Be and it's still busted. It's still busted. It's like it doesn't even... It's like it just ignores that number. It's like I could write anything there and it would still... Fuck, fuck. Just hot loading. It doesn't, it doesn't even use those numbers. It doesn't use those numbers. That's interesting. Blit random target into swap chain. What is the render target? What call? Who 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 does this? Loading screen? No. That's correct. So this goes. Man, I don't know if I can live stream Vulcan. It's just so hard. It's called Webby. Fuck Vulcan. Why doesn't it use those numbers? 
region. It's just like it doesn't use that. Wait, 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 wait. It's here. I override it. I fucking override it for no reason. It's that. So, let's just use what we had. Well, that, I'm glad that was something easy. Robin says, Are you sure you're not using Vulcan related functions even though you change values and shift to open jail? I'm not sure what you're asking, but I think it's good now. Nope, it's still broken. Why? What region? Let me just write a six, D six, and see what happens. Um, B. Go away, lines. It's still ignoring those. Do I have to actually close the program? That would be weird, but it might... Put, give me a clue. The source offsets? Now the source... Yeah, it just didn't <laughs> reflect it live for some reason. Okay, so I render the image into what's called the G buffer. And that has a, a size. So the source of that just stays the size of that rent that texture. But what the des the destination is what matters. That's where it gets drawn back into the main screen. It works. It works. It just cannot be up hot loaded for some reason. I don't know why. And also it's backwards. Like right now I'm rendering player 1 in full screen, player 1 in 2 player, it's wrong, and player 1 in 4 player, it's wrong. And that's because the Y is backwards. Perhaps I could correct this just nicely. I think I can. I can. By doing what? By just subtracting half the final width, maybe. Let's try it. Oh, fuck, I don't know. But that's gonna bust everything up. Or are these just backwards? Nah. Someone asked how did I learn game design? I'm just winging it, really. Just from trial and error, I think, is the answer. Yeah, I don't think I'm the best game programmer. I'm, I'm okay at graphics, but I'm pretty shit at game stuff. I just do my best with what I know. Uh, so... I think I can't hack this in here. I've literally got to go to this thing and just check the API. And if it's Vulcan, I'm going to have a diff different number there. It's the only way to do it, which sucks, because it means it's sort of dumb. I should have done it in the actual renderer itself, because they're different per API. But who... it doesn't... I'll fix this later. For now, let's just fix it here. I mean, I'll rewrite it properly later. Am I small? Nice. I feel like this playlist sucks from this moment on. It kind of does. We're going back to the start. Alright. I know, uh... What's up, Stefan? I've been programming for about seven years. 
Okay, well, what are we gonna get working? Let's get player two working. Let's get player two working. So if, if this is what I need to change. If get API, if game get API equals, wait, if backend get API equals Vulcan, then we'll correct it. Correct. I don't need a comment. Um, we are going to subtract half the view height. Let's try this. For both. What does that do? Interesting going full screen just wipe that. That 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 worked. Now that that's great. Wait, that's just for all of them. That can happen at the end. Beautiful. That's lovely. Currently what I'm doing is making split screen work in Vulcan because at the start of this stream I got it working in OpenGL, like uh, two player and four player. So I'm just trying to get it working in Vulcan now. Which seems to be going quite nicely. So, man, can I just comment this out and it will just work? Perhaps. Where's this thing? Imagine. Oh, I was big. I just commented out this line, which was making it so only rendered player one. There's a chance this might work. Please work. And nothing's happening. It's just total garbage and chaos. Um. <clears throat> Why? 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 What what are these errors? Cannot call destroy frame buffer on a buffer that's currently in use. I wonder what buffer I tried to de try to destroy it just then. I'm going to say it's the acceleration structure. Yeah, it's Australian internet. The chat this stream is like 15% 15 seconds behind. Keep out of the worst you can do is stop. Yeah, whoever that's directed to, me or anyone else, just keep grinding. Keep on. Just keep keep at whatever you're doing. You'll get there eventually. I'm not rewriting in Rust. That's crazy. So some buffer I'm trying to destroy mid frame and it hates it. I reckon that is something like the acceleration structures maybe, but it's happening on multiple buffers. I got all sorts of errors. Let's fix this first. I think it's destroying the acceleration structure, and that's just some ray tracing shit. So let's find where this happens. I think it's here. I reckon it's this. Update that. So only do this for player one. Because, yeah, let's see if that makes those errors go away. Zeta said they often find solutions when discussing their problem with their girlfriend, and that's a great way to solve problems, just explain them just to another person. Rubber ducking, or whatever it's called. We'll get there. What's happening? Well, this is good. The error's gone about the um, buffer thing, but we're getting some f cursed, cursed numbers for the um, for the 
the lit <laughs> coordinates. So that great idea I had was wrong. This can not go there. It needs to go where it was before. Wait, it's only in two or four player, I think. Maybe. Because if it's full screen, it doesn't want to do that. Um, two, none. If you don't equal that, that's when we do it. Because you know how, you know how I just sh I shifted it up a bit? If it's player one, it still shifts up, and then it's out of range of the image, I think. That's what's happening, maybe. I hope, because I hate Vulcan errors that I don't understand. We're working here, where we froze, and that just breaks everything. Ah, oh, I can only do it for player two. Man, I'm confused. Perhaps I gotta do this one at a time per player. Yep, let's render one player at a time. Maybe. God damn you, Vulcan. Let me just fucking relax for one second. Yeah, Swagger. You're right. Seeing these Vulcan errors is very intimidating. You can barely see in here what the problem is. I'm just catching a few keywords. I know I'm, it's happening when I try and blit the image and it's saying the dimensions are wrong. So I'm just not even reading this too closely because it would hurt. Rewrite split screen for Vulcan from scratch. That's what I have to do really. Just those coordinates. What if I just don't have that and just see what I get? Am I still out of range? We'll see. I really hate Vulcan. I really hate doing Vulcan on stream because I just hit a wall and it just throws me off. Well, I don't know why the frame rate's so shit, but it is working. It's just backwards. Like I just just then I got rid of the code that fixed the broken thing. Like, this isn't working. The player one and two are around the wrong way. Like, right now I'm controlling player one, now I'm controlling player two. What is with this frame rate? Maybe I can just count this as being complete and I'll fix it later. Oh no, I can fix this now. Ah, oh, it's just really hurting me. This is hurting me. What? Why is the frame rate so shit? Maybe I just have terrible FPS. Let's capture a frame and see what the actual frame time is. Have you ever slept alone in a tent on top of the mountain? Nah. Did you fix the weird issue, issue rendering the animated model? Yeah, I did it off stream. What's up, One Wish? Let's capture a frame and find out why the frame rate's so shit. Maybe because I'm casting like a billion rays? No, it's the same amount of pixels, so it's the same amount of rays. The frame time was... 2 milliseconds. That's a fast frame. I know what's happening. Oh. What's up, Carl Smith? It's... Okay, it's rendering in two milliseconds, which is insanely fast. But it's rendering so slow because I think it's alternating between the swap chain images. Now, the swap chain is simply just a bunch of textures on the GPU and you, 
you can't keep rendering into the same image because it won't be done by the time you display it on screen. So you alternate where you render into. That's called the swap chain. But what's happening is, for each player, I'm advancing the swap chain when I shouldn't be. I need to only advance the swap chain once per draw loop. Someone says I look unkempt, but my code is clean. That's not wrong. I mean, it is wrong. My code is also unhinged. Um, yeah, so I've got to think about this. Uh, I cannot advance the swap chain per render thing. I need to advance it only at the end of the draw loop. I'll show you the code that's fucking it up. It is... I mean, this is just a guess. But when we begin... When we end rendering... See, this acquires the next image of the swap chain. But this runs for four players, which means this happens... Um, four times. So I'm just getting jittery shit because it's, it's rendering quickly, but enter into the wrong image. I can barely explain this, but I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. What's up, awesome? Welcome. So I have to. I can solve this. I can solve this live. Your name didn't pop up. I'm sorry, man. Oh, because I don't have it shown. When I'm full screen like this, I don't have the, the the sub thing activated. It is now. Sorry. Maybe unsubscribe, resubscribe. I'm sorry your name wasn't there. Okay, so this thing cannot change here. What does this do? It outputs into here. So this has to be like some fucking global global variable that's only done once per frame. I'm gonna hack this in. That's what this is all about. Let's do it. Current swap chain image index. Current frames. Current frame swap chain image. That's a bad name. I'm just doing this. This is for the the whole current render loop. So all players share this index. I think this should work. Where do I get that thing? In the end rendering thing. In here. So this... <laughs> God, I don't know what's going on. Wait, wait, we'll go here. And we'll do that. And this. And only do this for player one. Otherwise, it's just going to be all over the place. Please work. More comments than Toasted Bagel's production code has. Yeah, I never write comments. Because when I do, they just say something dumb like that one did. What is this comment I keep seeing? Today's bold pants, yours not from someone else. End site's open still. Terminate. Undeclared identifier. And result is also not a thing anymore. What's up, Alexander? Lifestyle is just a bit too cruisy for this moment. And this is a bit too happy. What's up, Boomzy boy?
it still feels shitty, doesn't it? It's a bit better. But it still seems a bit cursed. It's less shit. So I think something else like that is going on still. I'm still advancing some other index incorrectly. And also the um, font looks like shit now. And I have all sorts of errors. Um, it was wait, 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 wait. was not acquired from the swap chain. Fuck you, Vulcan. What's up, PC Gaming and YouTube? Roblox misses the old stream save playlist. Well, we can play that. I just kind of don't like that list because there's songs that I think are banned in Russia. I mean, yeah. Is this the one you want? Okay. So what are you telling me? The present info thing has some cursed value somewhere. Oh, I hate Vulcan. Man, maybe I should just do something fun. Maybe I should do something fun. This is killing me. This is killing me. The swap chain image index was not acquired. This is messy. I've got a solution. I have a solution. In I need to copy all this to another texture. And then at the end of all of it, put that into the current swap chain index. That's the correct way to do it. But that's fiddly and I'm not doing that now. Yeah, I'm not doing that now. So I'm going to wrap this speed run up and just say it was a fail, because yeah. I don't know if anybody really knows what the problem is right now, but the thing is messy. And the solution is quite a bit of a redesign. I need a whole new... a lot of other stuff that I'm not doing now. So let's do something fun like Muzzle Flash in OpenGL. Welcome to the gang! Right now, we were working on split screen in Vulcan, and I kind of got there. Take a look. Uh, what's what's happening? Mm. Split screen. This is Vulcan, and it kind of works, but it's all fucked up and broken. And the reason is hard to explain, and the solution is not something I can do quickly. So I'm going to move on to the next thing. Which will go, which will be going back to the OpenGL renderer and getting. Let's get shells working, or maybe Basil Flash, and then glass. Just keep doing shit until I can't anymore. So I might undo all of that because it's it was actually at least better before. Um, where am I? Just check that we can still build. And then we'll move on to something fun. <clears throat> Forest says, looks like progress. Yeah, it is progress. Like, just even realizing that's what the problem was is, is huge. I can, like, think about it properly and, and write it up, and then next stream we can do some more fun stuff, but... I don't want to waste time just writing dumb, slow code. Because that's boring to watch. And I can't even talk while I do it. So right now, things are good. That's Vulcan. So let's go back to OpenGL, where we at least have guns. And... Yes, this is a couch. This is a couch. And this is a desk. You 
you are correct. And yeah, my monitor is on a table. Where, where does that go? Cool, things are looking good. We are back in OpenGL now. So let's get the nozzle flash. That's a pretty big thing that's missing. Four players per screen, looking good. Cool, nozzle flash time. We'll not print that to the screen anymore because that's not required. Split screen mode to stream. Util here. Well, that can just delete. Okay, I'm gonna start the bomb again. And just get my mind back in the game, because I... Whenever I do Vulcan, it just, it just destroys my, my momentum. Where's the bomb? Let's say... 60 minutes. 60 minutes for Muzzle Flash. Oops. No, no fucking around, which means not much Vulcan, apparently. All right, let's do this. It is time for Muzzle Flash. Wow. Huge shout out to Ruby if she's here. Now, where would I go to do this? Probably close everything. And then look at the old renderer. When do I do Muzzle Flash there? After glass, which is after everything, but it's before the HUD. Okay, so I'm gonna do it before, before the debug pass. Void muzzle flash pass, probably taking that. It'll have some important stuff, I assume, maybe. I'm not going to waste time making one of these right now, so we'll just have to write this. Nothing. We're going to write nothing. So, what does the old muzzle flash pass do? It basically... Am I small? Yes. What does it render? It renders something called Muzzle Flash. And that is a, a class which has a draw function which draws what? A quad. It draws a quad. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just draw a quad somewhere. I wonder if those vertices match the quad vertices that I use to draw, like, the screen space passes. Negative 5 to positive 5. A uh, hard-coded mesh. Damn it. Hard-coded. And they don't. But I can just make them half a size, so I can still use this quad, I think. But what about the texture coordinates? Well, I don't know, why is everything so, so painful? I'm just going to let you guys quarrel amongst yourselves on that one. Yeah, let's just get a quad rendered. Let's just get a quad rendered somewhere. So for player one, we're going to render a quad on the gun in this pass. So let's... We, uh, I'll just steal the shader for one from the old renderer. Is there a muzzle flash shader? 
Let me just figure out this fucking maze. Wrong file. What's up, CO? What shader do I use? An animated quad shader, apparently. Which is called... Animated quad. So that's the first step. Steal these shaders. And drop them in the project. And then load them. Animated. They're not really an animated quad. I guess they are. Animated quad. Yeah, I'm sorry there's no Vulcan stuff happening today. It's just I need to do a bit of behind the scenes work. What's up, Vladimir? This game will take longer than Starfield to develop. Nah, you wait. I'm not that far off finishing the renderers. Like, I reckon a few more streams, maybe? Realistically, I reckon I got four more streams till both the GL1 and Vulcan 1 are done. Then I'm gonna make the map out of them, and then I can... You're right, there's a lot of work to do. But I will get there. Mark my fucking words. So first up, the muzzle flash pass needs that same shit that everything needs, which is just the matrices. The camera matrix and the projection matrix. Is the thing. Um, muzzle flash shader, even though it's not called that. Well, that's that at least. Are these even called the same names? I bet they're not. Ugh, how disgusting. Let's fix that. What's up, Dennis? Projection. Mm, view matrix. View matrix. Uh, maybe I should have used those original names. Yeah. I once read something that stuck in my mind. It's when you are adding something new, do not refactor it at the same time. Because you just double your chance of fucking up. What's up, Eugene? The typo will throw when he compiles. Which typo? In the shader name? What's this? Geo position. Animated. Ah. ah. <laughs> Thank you. Animated quad. My apologies. Alright, so next up we'll be getting the a quad rendered somewhere on screen, I think. 
How would we draw one? I've got to render a quad somewhere. Here. Yep, that renders a quad. Ah, uh, what the fuck is this? What's that? What is the last parameter of this function? Base vertex? What? Instance count? Wait. Okay, now that's fine. I missed the sub, I'm sorry. This song is putting me to sleep. The goal is new haircut till it release. <laughs> I'm not sure quite what you're saying, but maybe that I can't cut my hair till it's done, or that I should cut my hair now. I learned coding just by working on stuff like this. Okay, the model matrix is going to be what? We're going to render this quad where? Just in the middle of the room somewhere. Let's just get something happening on the screen. T equals... I mean, what the hell am I doing? Transform dot position is going to equal the middle of the room. Somewhere like that. Maybe that. And we'll just use that for the model matrix. What's up, Killer Cube? Yep. Now, this shader, I'm just going to actually make it render just a solid color. Blue will do. That all looks good. What do we get rendering this? If you just joined, I'm trying to render the muzzle flash. I know I already had that, but I've started with a big rewrite, so everything has to be redone. I see no quad anywhere. Perhaps I'm not calling that function? And I'm not. Now, what, what render target is this going to go into? Fuck. In the old renderer, how does it work? It goes into the G buffer. Does it happen before the lighting or after the lighting? What's up, Mr. PVPs? Where is the lighting? It happens after the lighting, but still renders into the G buffer. That seems wrong. Does it really render into that? Into attachment three. That's probably the f the lighting buffer. God, this is confusing. I'm going to assume that it doesn't work the same way in this new renderer. We're entering into this. Don't listen to me. That's where we're going. All right, I'm gonna build a capture frame and just see where this went. Where the quad went. But what depth buffer do we use? Oh, we don't have one. The lighting buffer has no depth buffer. Fuck. This is confusing. It's like I need to bind a depth buffer to this thing. Let's just ignore the depth buffer for now. How 
ho hoax. Clem, how's it going? I see no quad. Let's capture a frame. That's the only thing that will tell me where to look next. Can't wait to be to test this. Yeah, I want to release a demo ASAP. Just want to fix up a few things, like a lot of things. But it's coming, like that's it's that's what I want to do. Capture frame. Now it's gonna be very hard to find this draw call, like actually impossible. So let's just let's put a geo flush there. And it's like start all that again. Glicks. Two two four. Hello, God tier Slayer. What's going on? Whoa, Peter Butler. Damn it, man. That's a lot of money. Thanks, man. Peter says it's cool to see people writing their own tech. I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I'm glad you enjoy watching it. Cool. Now I can just, I think, recapture this frame and look for that call. Look for this, which will tell me where to, where I am in this big long list of OpenGL events. The setup's pretty chill. It's just a monitor and a couch and a, a microphone and a camera. Capture the frame. Go to Insight. Search for the thing. Here it is. Remove that. Now we're here. Here's the draw call. Well, there's the quad. Where is it in real life? Where? I don't see it here, but it's here. What? 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 And then it disappears. Um, my brain. That draws the quad. Okay. So what's this thing? doing it just draws nothing it's a nothing draw elements call oh my, my, my head hurts you need to add some count to keep me track of how many times you wrecked that tower <laughs> I used to have a lamp that I used to shoot around but then I delete removed the lampshade and now I just don't look at it because anyway ignore me where you want to see the whole frame be rendered? Okay, here we go. Here go the shadow maps. For all eight light sources, or whatever's updated per frame. I think only two or so, depending on what moved within that light's radius. Here goes the frame being drawn. Then the magical quad. Okay, lighting's calculated, then the quad goes on. I think I'm just getting confused about the order that things are drawn here. That quad will be the muzzle flash. I just got to get it drawing, drawing to the right spot. Oh, my brain. Okay. You are rendering into the lighting buffer. I see, but it's already blit back to the main... At the end of the lighting pass, it blits to 
the present buffer. So, I don't want to blit yet. I can move this blit to here. I think. And then, oh, <laughs> all this blitting stuff is just like, it copies from an off-screen render target to the screen. Because you you don't draw into the screen, you draw somewhere else and then copy into the screen. Into the screen. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think that's all good. We'll just terminate that and build and see if we can see the quad. Shout out to the Morocco guy who says hello. I see you guys talking about Unity and stuff, and I sort of agree with what I can skim read and see that you're saying, which is that learning Unity obfuscates a bunch of game dev stuff. Like, it's a, that's what you learn from writing from scratch. You, you have to figure out how it happens. I can't even talk today. I'm just saying, learning from scratch, writing from scratch, you learn a lot. Cool, there's our quad. There is a bit of a problem that there's no depth buffer because I'm no longer drawing into the G buffer, which is what has the depth buffer. There is a way around this. And I think I'm gonna have to do that. Which is, okay. I'm awful at explaining shit today, but I'm gonna try my best to explain this one. Currently, I'm rendering into this thing, the G buffer. It's a collection of off-screen render targets so that's just like geometry, normals, base color. Then I take that and render into the lighting texture. It's a separate thing. But only the G buffer has a depth buffer. And that's what you need to make shit not like that. Because there's no depth buffer for the lighting render target, that blue quad is always drawn on top of everything. Now I could attach the, I could attach the depth buffer to this render target. But that's just going to be messy. So I think instead I will render the lighting texture into... I will just rewrite this to put the lighting render target into the G buffer. So it shares the same depth buffer. I don't know if that made sense. Doom guy says remove the GL flush. Thank you. <laughs> Always after these streams I go back and there's like 10 of them. And I wonder why my frames are awful. So yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. Just do a bit of re rewriting now. So the same thing happens, but we have a depth buffer. Because the muzzle flash needs to... Hmm, actually, maybe it doesn't need the depth buffer for the muzzle flash. It doesn't. That's a bit naughty, but I think for now I can just ignore that. I can. Because your screen... There's never anything in front of the gun. The gun's always in front. Oh wait, the gun is in front of the muzzle flash. Yeah, okay, damn it. True. E yes. God damn it. So this would be a bit fiddly. But let's do it. We'll remove that entirely. And... Just begin the refactor from hell. So... Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Or that. Or this. Am I small? Yes. Am I making this for fun? Are you making this game as fun? Um... I don't know why I'm doing this. But I think it's for the same reason I play guitar. And that is... I don't know why either. I just feel drawn to do it. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I'd like to play guitar. I'd like to do a bit of programming. It's just, I'm doing this because I can't help not do it. Is the answer. Okay, the G buffer now needs a new texture, which is going to be the, this one, but here, and cold. Who was that? Muhammad, what's going on? So if you, if you just rocked up, we're doing a bit of refactoring, just so my fucking muzzle flash has a depth buffer. 
when it's being drawn. Lighting. Lighting. Final lighting. Which makes this not really a G buffer anymore. I just saw a Discord message from someone, I think one of the mods, and we I'll get to that after the stream. We'll talk about it. What's up, Abadi? What's up? What's him? Okay, cool. So, so. Uh, okay, lighting. Why does no one. Just use your real name. Like, how am I supposed to pronounce this? Of course. Ink FX. Incorporated FX. That's an easy one. Sorry. I just got triggered there for some reason. Well, that's not even used. Which is nice. What is with these, these songs? The lighting pass. Here's something that actually matters. We'll buy in the G buffer. We can't clear it anymore because that would just wipe everything. God damn it. But I have to set the draw buffer to be... Fuck. I'll be lucky to be able to pull this off. We are now drawing in the lighting pass into into attachment zero one two three four. Why are there so many of these? Where is the G buffer? Wait, I have a function to get this. Frame buffer. Get it, color attachment handle by name. No, slot by name. Go away. G buffer dot that, and it is called final lighting. What is this return? What? Hello. Five point four. Is this what you're talking about? Yeah, I must have some giant memory leak, don't I? Or something. Yeah, this song rules. Oh, I think I'm running out of steam. What time is it? It's only one 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 a.m. I think the reason they suck right now is because I don't... Hello, it's a Franzo. I used to be nocturnal. I used to be nocturnal. I used to wake up late and stay up till dawn. But I've sort of adapted normal hours now. I've adapted normal hours. I've been hanging out, I've been hanging out with this girl Ruby and she lives normal hours so I've just sort of copied her time, like normal <laughs> normal people time, which means I can no longer be highly functioning at this time of the night. But I'll get there. Because this isn't that hard. This isn't Vulcan. This is just OpenGL. I can do this. I swear. I'm from Tasmania. Right now, I'm trying to f select the rendered target to draw into. Yeah, Tasmania, Australia is the place. This returns an enum. Draw buffer. That's what I wanted. Okay. What else is missing? This shit. Oh. I'll be so surprised if this works. And I guess this can also draw into that same thing. I'm in my own world, aren't I, right now? I... What's happening here? We just heard that. I hope this works.
somebody asks how did I get good at programming I'm not the best I'm all right and it's just from practice it's just from practice that's how you learn shit okay so this needs to be final lighting I feel like I just broke everything. Please work. Diego Rodrigo. Hey man. Hopefully it'll just render as before. If not, there are problems I'm gonna have to figure out. Yes, it worked, but why is there still no death buffer? I can't believe that worked. It's because this is here. Hot load. If all goes to plan, that'll just disappear behind the wall. Come on. It didn't. Because it's actually already disabled, it needs to be enabled. Now the reason I'm switching to full screen is because when you hot load, it snaps away from the window and I want to see this change real time. Haha, <laughs> fuck yeah. That, that was sick. Cool, so now I need to rotate that to the players. We are back in the game. This is killing me a little. This is killing me a little. Okay, so let's position that on the gun. Chrono, hello. I just gotta kill someone. Why didn't I pay for the beat? Because it is sick, but I just can't pay for every beat. I can't pay for any beats. Alright, position that quad where it's got to go, come on. Buzzgrove. Top Lorek from Poland. Oh, what, what's the model matrix for, a, for the muzzle flash? Where does it come from? Well positioned. Uh huh, okay. Right. So it just gets the. I pretty much need to add the muzzle flash, posi muzzle flash position to the render data struct. Absolutely do. And the player's rotation. I like that, that's nice and simple. Muzzle flash world pause and player view rotation. Cool. They can be. Where are they? Give me all that. Now, in the hive mind renderer, they must be added. I'm just gonna put them. Where? Get player view rotation, player unsigned int player index. Also, get muzzle flash position. What's in my clipboard? That shit, that's important. Now what's cool about this code I'm writing here is that it's actually gonna work for Vulcan 2 once I write those render passes. Like, it'll have access to all this data, which is the whole point of this big, silly rewrite. Do I have some way to get the player by index? 
How does anything work around here? Get camera. What? Yes, this. Zero. Renderer old, what is going on? My eyes. Why am I such a little bitch today? Return. Return what? The player's view rotation. Lovely. And for this, we need that as well. Something like that. Francisco Silva. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me, I think. View rotation equals get view rotation. Yeah, yes. And the other one? What was it called? Um, what was it called? <laughs> it is the muzzle flash position. And here we need I. This is when there's more than one player. Sweet. Now, use those things in the muzzle flash pass for the model matrix, I suppose. I suppose. Which happens in this file. Here. 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 Render data dot muzzle flash well position. Well, let's try that. Chad asks, how do they make the big ass comments? I, there's a website like ASCII font generator. I'll show you. What's your name? Like this. Or go all. And see them all. Where are they? Like this. They're still loading. But that, that's how it's done. Although because it's quite time consuming, I do make these ones by hand sometimes. If, it, if I have the letters already accessible, like up here. Well, it is on the gun, it just doesn't rotate with the camera. Because I didn't do this other part. Am I small? Yes. Twin Opinion uses that website. Nice. Muzzle flash pass, rotation, something like that. Uh, where am I? Uh huh. Looks like it's just that. Let's try that. Now this quad's a bit big, isn't it? I think it's double the size. Now we're talking, except we can't see anything. Let's shrink it. What the hell? I've never once used one of those try catch things. Like, they, it seems weird to me. Like, here's some code that may sometimes fail. I guess that's could be good to write that way. This will shrink in size, half size. It's still way too big. Let's go tiny. A 
Swagger asks, did you need an experience for that for your day job? Um, the reason I got that job, like, I already knew the guy. I worked for some guy who made this Maya plugin, and I do their rendering shit. And me and him were already sort of mates online because I was asking him for help with ragdolls because he's like the ragdoll expert. And just one day he's like, hey man, do you want to do this thing? And I was like, I'll give it a shot. And I just, yeah, took six weeks to just do, I uh, forget what it was, the first job, but something. And I fucked it up, like I didn't finish it. And I was just like, oh, I failed. But then at the end he was just like, dude, when are you free? And I was like, oh, really? And he's like, yep, you did, you worked hard and you, whatever. So that's it, that's the story. Why is this still large? Yeah, basically, the experience I had, well, he knew, he, he'd seen my engine and stuff, so he knew what, he knew that I could do a bit of open jail stuff. And then the rest I just learned on the fly, like the direct X stuff I do, I just learned that at work. Why doesn't this work? Like, why is it still so giant? Is that because the camera is so close to the screen? I think it is. I gotta shrink this like a crazy amount. Yeah, look, this is why. It's because the gun's like right up here near the eyes. So a quad like that is still huge. Maybe. But where do I do the size for the you know, old renderer? There seems to be no scale. I'm big, aren't I? I definitely am. Hey, man. I'm gonna just make that really small. By putting some zeros in. Until I just see something on screen that makes sense. Super sampling. What do you mean? Are you still using super sampling? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I can see it at the end there. It's just very small. So that's too small. Maybe that is better. Let's go two. Let's go five. Imagine if I got that perfect. We're still very large. So let's go one more zero. And hey, Lonely Goblin, how you doing? I love seeing your name. I remember you as a very helpful person. Ha <laughs> Cool. We got ourselves a muzzle flash. <laughs> That's very funny to me. I feel like we're missing something though, aren't we? It's not on the gun properly. It's missing... It's missing the weapon sway. Like, it works like that, but when you start swaying, it's wrong. But let's fix that later. Let's make it not blue first. How small is it? Mm, one? Like, double the size? I'm not going to know until there's actual animation on there, am I? I need that crosshair back. I can't be missing all these shots. Okay. Yeah, Boris is correct. It moves when I walk, but not when I sway. So it follows animation, it just doesn't have the weapon sway in there. So I must be doing that manually in here. But see, the confusing thing is that the view matrix includes the weapon sway. Apparently not. Ah, uh, I think it was just—I think it was wrong all along. In the. 
In the old renderer, it was wrong. You just can't tell when it's not a blue square. So, like... That's actually going to be quite hard to fix. I mean, no it's not, but... I don't really know where to go to fix it. The reason I'm saying it's hard is because... I'm just getting a... The position is not a matrix, it's just like a VEC3. And then somewhere else in the code there's a, a, a 4x4 matrix that moves it. What is the weapons way? Where is any of that happen? Weapons way transform. Can I just add that? Is this in screen space or what? Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Weapon sway matrix. <sighs> Maybe that will work? No, it won't. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get all that for now. And think about the proper way to do it later. Let's get the actual image on there. What are we doing? This music is just too calming. Give me something dirty. Okay. Ah. Oh. So, texture. Let's bind this texture. Wait. How do we bind anything now? It's, everything's different. Everything's different. I can't just bind it like that. Or can I? Maybe I can. This will be a bit nasty. But we're just hacking shit together for now. Muzzle flash pass. God. We need the texture. There goes the flush. Well, that just works, doesn't it? Sick. So instead of... Rendering blue, we will render the. Does this just work? What's the error? What's the error? I'm not sure. Convert the bone animation matrix to a view matrix. Says Lonely Goblin. You know what I need to do? Why are we white right now? I think because blending is disabled. Eddie Lee, what's going on? Let me think about what you said, Lonely Goblin. Uh, maybe in the function that gets that position, I just gotta have the weapon sway in there. I definitely do, that's simple. Where did this happen? Get muzzle flash position. It's like in here, this gets the Glock position by getting, yeah, our weapon sway is in there. I don't know why then. Maybe that's not updated with anything ever. Where is it gone? Wait, we just must be on frame zero of the animation, I think. Let's hard code time. Where's time? What? Frame index? How would I know what the frame index is? Ten, four.
Damn it. How you going? Did that build? It did. Animated quad. Wait, am I in the wrong shader? I'm not. Hmm. Wait, all these are wrong. I mean, none of these are ever updated. That's the problem. I need all these uniforms. Immediately. That's the money sound. Hey, Bees Therapy. I appreciate it, man. And I appreciate that you're always here. It's sick seeing your name. I need these fucking uniforms. Hmm. I just don't remember how it worked before. Where, where are they set? Probably in here. Found them. God. Okay, so the player has a muzzle flash, apparently. Do they? That... Fix this if you see it on another mission. I'm not fixing that. I'm gonna work around it. Okay, that... This is it. The player has... This... Thing. Static muzzle flash. Redemption edition. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to explain the whole redemption edition thing. Last stream started off strong, but then nothing happened. In the last three hours, I just wasted everybody's time and made myself a fool of myself. This is pure autism. Not even he understands his own code. No, I don't. But no one can. Like, I swear, when you write a project this big, you don't, you can't remember it all. You just gotta re remember it when you see it. And believe it or not, when I'm not programming, I'm nowhere near as autistic. Like, programming just brings out your autism. You have to think autistically to work on this shit. No more question time. Do I have a good understanding of linear algebra? Somewhat. Where did you learn that? Just through doing this stuff? Like, I learned all this shit off learnopengl.com. And that, you just get exposed to it. And by tweaking values and experimenting, you just soak it in. How crucial is it for what you do? It's pretty crucial, but you will learn it on the fly. Now, I'm going to get this time in here. I think. I can't. I need to get it from further up the chain. I basically need a whole muzzle flash struct. I think. I do. Let's rewrite this. Let's rewrite this to just have some muzzle flash stuff. Muzzle flash info. Data? Details. Cha-ching. Thank you, Bertles. So first thing we're going to do is just replace that with this. Because there's too much muzzle, muzzle flash data. It can't just be a big list of bullshit like that. That is just getting out of hand. Hello. Muzzle flash data get muzzle flash data. Yeah, there's just too many values for me to be writing it like that. As a separate function for all of them.
And it's getting cleaner now. Nice. But hold on, I'm missing something, I know. This. Side bake, what's going on? Uh, the bomb timer, I wrote that in JavaScript. Whoops. Muzzle flash data, muzzle flash data. If you didn't know what programming, programming was, it'd be very weird seeing the same word written over and over. You'd be like, this ain't real. Looks good to me. Oh, what? That's disgusting. Power on. Power on. That seems unnecessary. Let me just check this. <laughs> this still works. Close build, but we need to render a solid color. So we can at least see shit's happening. Bring back that blue. What do I think of plan C? I've actually never written in C. I'd like to. I think it'd be cool to cool to learn. You'd learn a lot. The bomb is on your screen or only the stream? I don't see the bomb unless I'm in this view, like in OBS. This guy's copping all the code and he's gonna publish this game apparently. Go for it. Can you also finish it for me? Wait, that doesn't happen when I'm here. DJ. What's going on? I'm just taking a break for one second. Beast, since when have you been doing all this? Seven years ago I started learning OpenGL and C++. And then, I don't know, I took a few, I took breaks, like I, I started and was like, oh, this is hard, stopped for six months, came back. A lot, of, a lot of big breaks, but I've been going pretty hard the last few years. We have errors. Well, that's because it's in here now. Just checking them small. What's the time? 1.30. I just drew that in way too deep. If all goes to plan, we will have a blue square again. <laughs> yes. Cool. So this truck needs a few more things. It needs the time, for one. Which happens in this function. Hello? Have I done DSA? Direct state access? Uh, I think so. Like, that's bindless textures, is it? I mean, that includes bindless textures? I can't remember really what DSA is. It's a bunch of modern OpenGL stuff, isn't it? Um, maybe a bit of it. Now, the time. The time. Float. Time <laughs> equals zero for now. Now the time equals this. The player's muzzle flash time. Got it. Um, time. 
I am going a bit crazy. Cool, got that. What else? Is that all it, ha all it has? It's like in here it does a bunch of other shit. Frame index. How does it know that? What the fuck is this? Do I have a call that? I don't. That's never used. Turns out I was wrong. DSA is nothing to do with bindless textures. Of course not. There goes the bomb. Everything's wrong. So what's DSA then? What's DSA again? I've completely forgotten. Okay, let's just give myself some more time. Half an hour. Because I'm so close. I just need a bit more time. I reckon half an hour is all I need to do this current task. This song has to go. Half hour more. Are you kidding me? Okay. So when what when is the frame index set I don't believe this is never called apparently it's never called my eyes hurt now the stream doesn't end I just have to either start the next task or give up on the one I'm doing. Well, wait. The, pur the purpose of the time is it's how long I think it's going to take for me to get the thing done. Just to, so you guys sort of know how long is left and I know how hard to work. I don't know. Oh, how did this work before? That's never cold. Create flash. When is the frame index set? I must be calling that. It's just never cold anywhere. I mean, I must be calling that. It just doesn't run ever. I mean, what am I saying? I'm... <laughs> that is being called. It just doesn't... It's unsearchable for some reason. But I am searching the entire solution. Let's assume that works. And here... Animation seconds. This is sort of hard to just haphazardly do. One. I kind of want to give up on this, but I'll keep trying a bit more. What were you? You are these things. Give me all of that. Andre. Man, I am struggling. That is disgusting. Stop. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Unscoped enum. Is it because time is not a real thing? No one look at the code I'm writing right now. 
Well, that fixed all that. So what's actually needed by the shader? All this shit. These four things. <sighs> Fuck this. We got this. Five minutes are already gone. God damn it. Well, this is the stuff I need. How you doing? <sighs> Getting there slowly. Caitlin. That's needed. That's needed. That's needed. That's needed. Current time is not. That is also not. Apparently. Int. Unsigned int. set all these things in here I feel like this is never gonna work how you doing man did I sleep today yeah I mean no I woke up today early like 8 a.m. which means I've been up for too long what's going on The muzzle flash time, we've, we've already set that. Count raw equals... I know this looks like just garbage, and it is, but I'll fix it once it's working. I'm just trying to bring over all the pieces. That's not needed. Frame index is what? That. Yeah. Disgusting. But it looks okay. So now I have all this nonsense. Oh, I haven't even explained what this is. Oh, all these random numbers are because what I'm actually drawing is this. How rude of me. The muzzle flash is actually this. Oh, you can't even see. The muzzle flash is like a bunch of animations in a single thing. You'll see in a second. What's going on here? Man, my part of Photoshop is just glitching up these days. There. So that's the muzzle flash. So all the shit I'm doing is basically working out which one of these to display based on the current time. The current time since the muzzle flash was created. Flipbook, yes, exactly. So for the past like 100 minutes, no one knew what I was doing, but that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. So the old renderer has code that does this and the new one needs that. But if if you're paying attention, you would have seen I'm just doing shit all over the place, and it can't really happen like that. It has to happen s somewhere smart. Further up the chain of events, in that those numbers get passed down to the OpenGL renderer and the Vulkan renderer. It's 
Someone asks, if I could choose between OpenGL and C++, what would I pick in terms of getting a job? Sorry, if the, the question is, would you prefer C Sharp in Unity or C++ in Unreal? I'd rather use Unity, but I'd rather use C++. Thank you for subscribing. So that can go away. Okay, let's hope this works. Pass all that to the shader immediately. Here it is. So this has to happen in here. Am I small? Where's the dot? Frame index, count raw, whoops, count raw. I reckon that means count row, not count raw. Definitely does. Imagine if that works. It actually should. Maybe I should do something cool like glass after this because this was been this has been really boring. Hey Nightbot, don't fuck with Lonely Goblin. Don't render blue. And we're getting nothing. Why? Why? Can I just hard code some shit in? Maybe. Zero. How many frames are there? It's impossible to know. Two, three. I wish I didn't just close that. It's four by five. Columns go down four, row five. It never uses that number, apparently. Yes, it does. Frame index, I have no idea how this works. Fuck. Um, just don't be a uniform. Man. going crazy. What's up, Daniel? The grind's going alright. I just am s doing something kind of boring that's taken ages right now. Muzzle flashes. Oh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to close this capture frame and see if my texture is even there. Because maybe it's not. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I almost want to do something else, but I'll, I'll try at least to the end of this timer. Hey, Isaac. Isaac asks, what do I think of Rust? I've never used it. It sounds cool. I'd love, I'd love to check it out. Capture a frame. Damn it, I captured one while I wasn't shooting. That shouldn't matter. And once again, I'm never about to find this draw call. What? We know it's kind of near the end. I think it's this one actually. 
Raglan shader. What shader is this? No, it's not that one. It could be this one, that's also a quad. It is that one. The texture is... Is what? Well, that's correct. It's just looking super weird. So it is bound at this time. It is bound at this point in time. Perhaps I'm just guessing dumb numbers here. Fuck. Um. That's all good. This is just bad. I can't think. <laughs> Please let me do something fun that's not this. So the quad's drawing, the texture's bound, it's just these numbers are wrong. So what about, to, just to get this shit working, I go to the old renderer, hard code some stuff in and just try and get a fixed muzzle flash working so I can at least reverse engineer it because my brain is garbage right now that's how I'm gonna do this just hard codes and values and just try and reproduce the same image I know it's like a fucking cowboy stone age way to do it but it's how I'm gonna go about it so the current plan is Fire up the old renderer, see how that muzzle flash works, and just recreate it like that. And then maybe do glass or shells. I'm sort of out of steam at the moment. Oh, they're so beautiful. So if, you, if you're new here, this is the old renderer. What I'm trying to reproduce very slowly. What's up, Jack? So let's fire up the old shader for the muzzle flash and just try and get a fixed image there and see where we're breaking. So that's how much we interpolate between the current indexes. Let's just force the frame index to be five, and you can be six. That's very smoky, isn't it? What the hell's wrong with this? This. The um, the 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 glass on the site there. Okay, time interp can be zero. Damn it. hard coded values work with time zero there's nothing else to it could it be that texture coordinates it is backwards I don't think so need the bullet holes I know I need a lot of shit 
Oh, this render is so much more advanced than the, the one I'm working on. The blood. I miss all this shit. Yeah, fuck. <sighs> Never searching to be famous, I prefer it when I'm wasted. Did it occur that I am jaded? Da Morgan... Morgan? Hey man, welcome. Okay. Could, could these be wrong? Can I just hard code all this shit? Because it doesn't change. These don't ever change. Column. Which means that can go away. Maybe that's the missing piece of the puzzle, that I didn't set that. If they are just zero, that would just equal zero, which would just make that sample the top left hand corner and just be nothing. Potential, hello. Honestly, even though I don't trust myself to be right about anything, this is pretty much anything it could be. So let's follow our gut and load the new renderer and just change that one thing. Because the texture is bound, the quad is drawn, that has to be it. Has to be. How can you start this from day one? There's a website called learnopengl.com and you go there and just work through it. And before that, maybe you got to follow like a bit of a basic C++ um, series that just teaches you how to write to the console and what a boolean is and a for loop, that kind of stuff. There's a course called Wibbit.net, that's what I followed. <laughs> it's sort of funny, it's just two guys, two bros talking, quite conversational style. They just joke around and teach you C++. So start with that, and then do Learn OpenGL, and then just grind. I'm going to copy all this to here. I'm scared that that's going to break something, and it did, of course. Uh, what the fuck is happening? Um, I'm I'm a mere shadow of my former self. I have a I don't know what my CPU is, but my GPU is a 3060 Ti. Hey, um, NF, Nix DK. If you message me on Discord, I'll send you Poot if you're awful part two. It's basically the same song with different lyrics. We've got to get that fucking muzzle flash in. I can systematically do this myself, can't I? I know what has to happen. It's this. It's this. Get off the AK. Put that here, remove that. That all looks good. Fuck you. Maybe two or three are bad. They're too far down the animation where it's just smoke. 
but I still see fucking nothing. But if I render blue, we see it. So why? Time lap is too far. Can I just render one texture, one color? Seeing nothing. Tile offset. Let's... I feel like a... I feel like... I don't know. Right now, I'm just going to try to draw the... the that should be drawing the, the entire thing. It's not... It's not sampling the texture correctly. Perhaps that's wrong. I need to be doing what I usually do to sample textures, which is what? It is this. Explicitly fucking have them. Wait, what? I think I've figured out what's wrong. I'm just not sampling the texture at all. Correctly. I'm, I'm, I'm dying right now. Don't have time lap as a float. Maybe you're right, but the problem is that I can't even sample the texture. Because, maybe, that's not right. I'm nowhere binding that number to the thing. That, that's not bound to texture slot zero anywhere. Because you got to do this kind of shit. But it's still not working. I'm so done with this. Where is the OpenGL renderer? Is it just not open? Binding it to texture slot zero. We saw it was bound in Ensight. I'm going to blow up again. I'm going to die. Hey, vegan rising. Yeah, that's what this is. Trying to write an engine from scratch for our own torture. So why can't I access that texture? Are the texture coordinates just wrong? Get off the AK. RGB equals VEC3. Texture coordinates. Zero. I'm just making up shit. They're black. They're completely black. What does that mean? I'm not passing through the shit thing? Oh, I'm using normals for texture coordinates, maybe. I bet that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. Yes, those are backwards. Ha! Huh. Suck the fucking open geo, you fucking bastard. I don't know if anyone's still here, but that was a huge breakthrough. So, can I render anything? The texture coordinates are wrong. The texture coordinates were wrong. 
I want to kill myself. Huh. Look at this shit. God, that... I should have checked that first. I should have checked that... I, I, I... Don't, don't, don't even tell me. Talk to me about this shit. Well, we're still black. Why? We're still black because why? We're still black. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? <laughs> I can't do this. I I give up. What am I seeing? Okay, the blending, the blending, the blend equation's wrong. The blend equation's wrong. Oh. Look at me trying to light this like a crackhead. Tom, Tom, yeah, I'm trying to get muzzle flash working. I'm feeling pretty strung out right now. I think I might just answer a couple of questions and then call it a day. Like, this shouldn't be taking me this long. I'm... Let me check my list of things to do. Maybe there's something easy, but I feel like I'm just at my limit. Yeah, nah. What do you do for the day after this? I don't know. So another another slow day today. I'm I'm rolling a joint. I was smoking cigarettes all stream. No, I gotta take a break from everything. I'm just I can't think. I can't think. Push this, come on. No, I can't. I'm done. Sorry. Thanks for watching. Some cool shit did happen. We got four play split screen working. Let's take a little look at that. Ig ignore these disgusting muzzle flash. But there's now four play split screen. That's that's huge. I'm really happy about that. That also kind of works in Vulcan. There's now debug lines. I know they've destroyed the stream, but those work. And that might be all I did today. There's no donations available. Not via Super Chat, because this channel got demonetized, but you can donate via the, the link in the description. Anthony, what's going on? Let me just deal with this. <laughs> I appreciate you guys wanting me to power on, but I don't really know what to do. Like, all the stuff I want to do is very hard, and I'm I'm just at my limit. Next stream, maybe Monday, Tuesday. They demonetized me because of the alcohol and the weed in the earlier streams, I think. Perhaps all the swearing in that um, medley video. I'm not sure. They don't tell you. They just say... Um, well, they sent an email and it said a significant portion of your content violates our terms and services. Now, I've never done mobile apps. Fix the muzzle, muzzle flash. Oh, you fucking bastards. Really? I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm having no fun doing that. Can you show the Vulcan model? There's no point because it's just the same one with no... Um, with no animation. The Vulcan one looks the same as this, there's just no guns. All the ray chasing stuff's currently disabled. I actually can't show anything cool in the Vulcan one. <coughs> yep.
Yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching this channel and enjoying the project and stuff. Thanks for subscribing. But there comes a time when I just have to go to bed. Fix it, fix it, do it please. What are you talking about? The muzzle flash. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Do something you have fun with. Fuck. I, I, I have fun with all this shit, but I'm just too tired to keep going. I've never used Unreal. Anything that can make it make you stay. The purpose of using Vulcan was because I want to ray trace the specular reflections, specular highlights, and I also want to use the hardware ray tracing for my global illumination algorithm. Let me check one more list. Maybe there's something interesting I could do that's easy. Hmm. Nah, it's, it's all hard. It's all... It's not all hard, but it needs thinking. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to stop. How long did I prepare before this? <laughs> I didn't prepare. I just made a list of things I need to do. Yeah. So that's it. I'm just gonna smoke this. Maybe if anyone has a question, what do I think about PHP? I don't know. It's good for doing some backend web kind of stuff. I learned programming just by practicing. Next stream will be in a few days. Does your GPU run the game stuff? Nah, that's all on the CPU. Go to sleep. Correct. Don't be sorry. I am sorry. At least, yeah. I just need to start sleeping in so I can stay up longer. There is a workaround to use ray tracing in OpenGL. It's use interop. I'm going to write my own ray tracing compute shaders. What does chat usually call me? I don't really have a name on these streams. I don't call myself Tokyo Split, that's just what my account was called before I started doing this. Where can you get these pants? <coughs> I don't think that you can get them anymore. Hold on, Carlos sent an image. <coughs> it looks the same as the last one. <coughs> Let's check it. And that last one was beautiful. And I know I'm small, I mean big. Justin from Carlos, these. They are the same. Oh no, they're different. Fuck yeah, we have some grime and shit. That looks awesome, man. I cannot wait to have these in the game. It's the new pistol. Y480 cam. It's actually like 1080. I play chess, yeah, too much. Have I tried hard drugs? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to do too much Drago talk because that's what got my channel fucked up. The playlists are in the description. Okay, I need to get some sleep. Where's the bomb? Settings. Refresh the bomb. Nah, I, I pay for the models. They come from this guy called Carlos. He makes most of them. My ELO fluctuates between 1200 and 400. My internet sucks, that's why the camera looks like shit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry, I'm gonna to go to bed now. Where's the bomb? Uh, let me figure this out. I can't even figure out my own bomb. Like that, it's it's bedtime if you can't do that. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I do. Have a great night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend.